In this module, let's talk about information security responsibility. Now, what is information security responsibility? The default standard organizational perception which people have in their, in their minds is that security is the responsibility and the job of just one person or one department. And it, obviously that would be the security department if it exists. And that people, departments, organizations, other roles, they can get away with security as an afterthought. It, first of all, it's acceptable for it to be an afterthought, not to care about security, not to embed it in the entire life cycle of IT activities. And also that security is something which is okay if it is reactive. If something happens, then just react to it, and that is fine, and that is acceptable. This is the normal perception within organizations. The fact is, contrary to what we have said in the last slide, the fact is that security is everyone's responsibility. Every single person in the organization has to take some role and perform some actions and to take some responsibility for security. If we start with management commitment and tone at the top, which we already talked about, they have to take the, low, the leadership role as they set the entire culture and threshold for the rest of the organization. There has to be a security awareness program and a campaign so that people are informed about what policies there are, what the expectation is, what the risks are, and how to react uh, if there is an information security incident, for example. Then there needs to be a strong and effective security program which goes right into the roots. And we have talked about the four-step security transformation program, which is the best type of program and highly recommended, especially for a country with a poor security posture like in Pakistan. Allocation of sufficient resources should also take place while there is the talk of responsibility because if the resources are not provided, then people will actually not take the responsibility. So let's talk about security involvement and accountability. Now, effective security implementation, effective security implementation should be built in into the performance, key performance indicators of key members of the management, of technical IT people, and in business departments also. And it should be accounted for in the annual appraisals, security awards, and the recognition given out in the organization. So, for example, IT personnel, normally their appraisal, which is an annual evaluation of how the performance has been, the annual appraisal does not take in, into any account, does not give any weightage, does not give any points. And this would include bonuses, it would include the promotions, it would include the salary increases. It does not take into account how much security work you have done, what you have done, and what was required. And that's why, generally speaking, people in the organization don't take ownership for security responsibilities because they're not being held accountable for the security responsibilities in their annual appraisal. It's not impacting their pocket at the end of the year. Now, this is a chart which shows that how involvement and accountability can be built up in the organization in a typical project reporting structure. So when we have a, a, a four-step security transformation project or a major security project, we start off with IT and InfoSec teams which work daily. Then you have the Information Security Management Committee, the ISMC, which plays a very important central critical role in any project reporting structure and involves team members, and it should meet weekly. And then there's an Information Security Steering Committee, which would include heads of departments and perhaps a CIO and other relevant important stakeholders, which would meet monthly. And then the board should review performance on a quarterly basis. So what does this do? This brings accountability, first of all, because people are involved, and then it brings visibility of key InfoSec projects to the rest of the organization, to important stakeholders, and it brings participation. And this improves the likelihood of success of the program, the security program. So what we see is security is everybody's responsibility. And security responsibility has to take its place in the deep 
culture of the organization eventually. Eventually that has to happen so that the organization, once security becomes a part of the culture, the organization can function and it becomes a given. It's not just something which is an afterthought. It's not just something which is a reaction. Thank you.